I'm Serene. Welcome to my green kitchen where everything I make is completely plant-based. It's finally autumn, the best time of the year, and you know what that means. Big, comfy sweaters. It also means harvest, hugue, and pumpkin spice. And today I'll be making something that involves all of those things. I'll be making a fall-inspired acorn squash curry. So without further ado, let's jump right in. The ingredients that you'll need are mung beans, an acorn squash, diced tomatoes, coconut milk, ginger, garlic, vegan butter, onions, and cumin, turmeric, coriander, and cayenne pepper. The first thing you're going to want to do is take your mung beans and soak them overnight. So add your mung beans to a bowl and pour cold water over them and then place a tea towel on top and set them aside for about 5 to 10 hours. And after 10 hours, the mung beans will have grown in size. I like mung beans because they're easily digestible. After they soak, strain out your mung beans and again set them aside. Next, you're going to want to de-seed your acorn squash. If you wanted to, you could remove the seeds from the acorn squash and dry them for about a day or two and then roast them in the oven with some oil and some of your favorite spices and this will help reduce some of the waste that goes along with de-seeding your acorn squash. So, and I'll just leave a little recipe in the description of the step-by-step -step on how to do that. After removing the seeds, cut each half of your acorn squash into six slices and then cut each slice into bite-sized pieces. The skin of acorn squash is edible, so don't worry about removing it. Heat up a pan on medium-high heat and add your vegan butter. Once the butter is melted, add your onions and cook for about five minutes until the onions become translucent. Then add the garlic and ginger and cook them for about a minute before adding your spices. So then add your spices and cook your onion mixture for another minute or so. After all of your aromatics are cooked up, it's time to add your tomatoes. And along with the tomatoes, add three cups of water. And then add your mung beans. And finally add your acorn squash. At this point, it'll be really tempting to add salt, but wait until your mung beans are fully cooked and then we're going to add a couple more things. So bring it to a boil and cover it with a lid, turn it down to low heat and simmer for 15 minutes. While the curry is simmering, we're going to prepare our other ingredients. So I'm using kale, lime, garam masala, and salt. After 15 minutes, Check to see if your acorn squash is ready by poking it with a fork. Once it is, add your salt, garam masala, and your coconut milk, and cook this for another five minutes. The garam masala is what adds in those autumnal aromas that really hones in on those fall flavors that you're looking for in this curry. After five minutes, you can add your kale if you're using it, and then just mix it until the kale is wilted down, which would take about a minute. And then once the kale is wilted, add your lime juice, and that is it. The curry is now ready. So now you can serve up your curry. I added mine to a bowl with some cooked white rice and I added a little bit more lime juice on top and I also served it with naan and I topped it with some pumpkin seeds. If you had some fresh coriander you could add that on top as well. I know I say this all the time but holy crap this was amazing. 
It was truly a perfect autumnal transitional meal. And I had so much left over, I was able to eat it throughout the week. I really hope you like this recipe. It's perfect for sharing with your friends and family or for a Sunday meal prep. So if you did like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting them out every Saturday. Thanks for watching. Bye.